Hi, welcome to Data Engineering. So today we are going to discuss about how to remove null values in a data frame using PySpark. There is a lot of ways to do. So I'm going to explain you one by one. So this is actually an interview question. So that's why I just wanted to make this video. So just we have to create a data frame now and just we can have some data sets being get populated. So I have a data set. So you can see here I have five records and these are like around five rows and uh, uh, four columns name job age and salary so i have just created i'm just going to create a data frame with this schema and total number of rows i'm having five so it has null values as well so wherever you see none it's actually a null value so i'm going to execute this so now df dot show so now you can see like I have five rows and then four columns. And if you see in the very first row, I have job as null. And in the second row, there is no null value. Third row, I have three columns as null. And fourth row, no null. And finally, for fifth row, everything is null. So now we have a functionality called drop na. It's a function. So uh, by using this, you can get rid of null values. And we have different types of using this drop na. The very first one. So drop na, how? It's a keyword. Now I'm going to give any and then dot show. So now when I execute this, if you can see here, any like it, 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 like, it like just takes the first row and it checks it has any null value. If so, it will exclude that. It will eliminate that and it will take the second row. It checks. Is there any null value? No. So Jack record has been come and then third Mike record. So it has any null value as yes, it has more than one null value. So it just removed this particular row and then fourth row doesn't have any null values. And finally, last row has all columns of that row is null. So it is excluding that as well. So next one, like any, you have something called all, but when you give all, it checks for uh, entire row, which has a null value, it will be get removed. So if you see here, the last row has been removed. So when you have all rows, it's null then you can use this to get rid of it now next thing how to specify it in column wise so I, I i just need to remove it in column wise right so first of all i'll just make df dot show now let me do here so i'll just remove this there is something called subset so column wise you can able to remove the null values means you can remove the row based on the column wise null values so i'll go with salary dot show okay so if you see here in salary column i have two null values which has like third record and then fifth record so this two record the entire row has been eliminated so i'm getting only three records so this is subset that is column wise you can able to have a filter condition now we have something called threshold so i'll tell you what is threshold after showing you the output thresh equal to one I'll go with two first. So what, what it actually does is it, it just check for the first row and the threshold is two means it checks for is there a column in the first row has equal to two or more than two not null values. If you have more than or equal to two not null values, then that row will be get presented. So if you see here, the very first row has more than two not null values it has gautam and it has an age 29 and it has a value for salary as well right so then it will print it second so if you if you take the second record jack engineer and then 35 it, it, it doesn't have any null values and it has more than two or equal to two null not null values so second record will be get printed if you take third record it has not more than two not null values or not there it, only one not null value is there so it is excluding it then fourth it's entire row will be returning because there is no null value and final row has been eliminated because there is no not null values now if i change my threshold to one then i will be getting the record mic see because at least you have one uh, row in the uh, one column in the entire row has a value right it should be equal to or greater than one not null values that's very important to underline not null values right so these are the different types how to get rid of null values records the entire row okay so as i told you this is an interview question so that is the main reason i just wanted to make this small exercise as a video so thanks for watching if you want the complete big data and data engineering videos i have mentioned the playlist link in the description box of this video you can refer it so thanks for watching and if you really like this video please do subscribe to my channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues